Welcome back to Income Trading 101. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at Coca-Cola. It's been a while since I looked at Coca-Cola. To be honest, I don't always like their option uh, pricing and I'm an options trader. But every now and then I see a little bit of gold that makes it worth putting on a trade. Hey, thank you guys for watching this video, by the way. Uh, we're going to go through some technical analysis, just get a sense of where this stock is, where it's been, and ideally talk about a couple of possible trades uh, the way I would be thinking about this. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it really does show me that you love me and uh, it gives me a lot of boost. Um, but it's boost for free. You'll put a huge smile on my face, so I appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, you know, Coca-Cola had earnings last week, uh, as you can see, July the 26th. That was last Wednesday. Uh, today, by the way, is August the 2nd, uh, and I'm doing this in the evening after hours. Uh, so let's just take a look at where this company has been. We're going to just go ahead and pull Coca-Cola. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And if we really want it, we could change this to monthly data. And we'd go all, holy crap, 1962. You see, that's crazy. Uh, this shows you that we are still, even though Coca-Cola has been kind of uh, range bound, we are still at all time high, highs in Coca-Cola. So not unusual. Um, this is one of the, uh, I mean, this is a big company. It's been around a long time. Let me check this out. Dividend, holy crap, man, 42 cents dividend. Think about that. Two dollars. We'll just say, uh, you know, dollar. Would that be a dollar sixty-eight, um, roughly, a year on a stock that's trading, you know, uh, sixty bucks. It's not too bad. No dividend money. So, uh, this is this is Coca-Cola. Let's go ahead back. I, I really want to look at about a year's worth of worth of. Uh, that's a little more than a year. Um, I want that that peak there though. So. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and start with our moving averages like we always do. Uh, I typically go with simple moving averages, and I'm going to use three of them. I like the first one to be my short term. It's going to be my 10-day. I need my 10-day to be green because when the, ten, when the short term is on top, that lets me know that price is going higher. Uh, next up, we're going to do a medium term, which is our 20-day. We're going to turn that red. When this uh, red line is above the green, that's an indication that prices are heading lower. And then I'm going to have a yellow one. That's going to be our 60-day. Uh, that's three months worth of business days. And that's our longer term. So it just gives us a good idea of where things are right now. And I'm going to spread this out a little more. You can see right now we have what I would call a little bit of consolidation in that uh, we were headed higher, but that 60-day is still above the 20 it's really close right now you can see the actual financial numbers over here on the left so when i go to the last uh to today's trading close you've got the 10 day at 62 dollars 32 cents the 20 is at 61 dollars 32 cents so a full dollar away and the 60 day is 61.39 so we are seven cents arguably eight cents away from that 20 day being higher uh, than the 60 and at which point um, I would say that we are definitely in a bullish pattern with coca-cola and I'm ignoring right now uh, the, the other patterns we're seeing because those are really interesting too Let's play around with time a little bit Take this to the weekly at the weekly standpoint. We're in a scenario where uh, the 60 is still between the 20 and the and the uh, and the 10 uh, at the monthly, this would be our longest term. Um, at the monthly, we have uh, slightly bullish by one penny. The 10 month is one penny above the 20. So, um, but you can see even that that's a nice little up move. And then obviously some consolidations happened uh, here in the last year or so. Um, let's go ahead and drop down to like a four hour pattern just to see what the intraday is like. The intraday, you've got the 20 above the 10, but still both of those are above the 60. You're going to take it a little lower. Let's go one hour. The one hour, we're seeing uh, the effects of that bull of that bear pattern, but you've got a scenario where the 10 is above the 20. 
uh, but both of those are below the 60. So there's just lots of confusion, lots of sideways patterns going on around here. When I kick down to the 30, even there in the 30 minute chart, you've got a scenario where the 60 period is between the 10 and the 20. So um, the moving averages really aren't giving us a whole lot of indication at this point, a lot of confusion. Um, so let's go ahead and get rid of these. We're gonna take a look now at the uh, MACD. I like to use this as my momentum. Uh, it could be rather interesting here, um, given the last moves. You've got a crossover that happened. Prices went a little lower. You've had a crossover uh, that happened back in June. Um, this isn't telling a whole lot. It did cross the zero line here, the second of the lines, cross the zero line last week. So maybe that means momentum is going to head higher, uh, higher into an oversold territory, or maybe just stay higher for a bit. We'll see. The last time we saw an upward moving crossover was in uh, March, late March, and it led to this nice move higher from, we'll say, roughly $59.97 all the way up to 64 so a 10% move, it's up five bucks. Let's go ahead now, get rid of this uh, MACD, and I'd like to tighten things up a little more. Um, I would sometimes look at a retracement, but it's much less, I mean, this move here, like the retracement here that we saw from uh, mid-October, early October of 2022 uh, through December, I mean, that was almost a full recovery from the previous high. Um, so it's not really going to help us that much. And taking a retracement of these little these little bumps don't do a whole lot either. But here's one thing I, I want to do. I'm going to first off do a horizontal line. And we're going to put it right. Oh, we can put it right around there. And that's fine. Um, what's interesting about that line is... You can see how many times we touched it. One, two, this area, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost nine. So there's clearly some importance there. If we pull it all the way back, it really has been important. Um, it's kind of played the ceiling. Like that's almost a, a very visual ceiling. It's not going to be right at $64.37, but it's right around there. If I were to do another line to the low end, um, especially within the last year, let's see, maybe roughly here. And you can see how it played a role uh, here. I could roll it up to catch the bottom of these uh, swings back in February of 22. Went barely through it here, went through it there and came back above. Um, sort of had prices becoming a floor there too. What's interesting is right now we are in between those. Look at that. That's a wow. That's a really tight. That's a really tight move. You're talking about fifty nine dollars up to sixty four. Let's say sixty four fifty or just sixty four dollars. Talking about a five dollar move in a sixty one dollar, almost sixty two dollar stock. Like that's that's really tight. So in this scenario, I can't at this point say that I'd be looking to buy calls or buy puts, um, at best, I would probably be looking for things like um, selling selling uh, iron condors, uh, where you've got that uh, 65 and 59, or $64 and $59 as a range. Um, now, Coca-Cola, the pricing is not gonna be the best. You're gonna have to uh, go tighter than that if you wanna collect any real premiums and make it worth your while from a risk perspective. But the good thing about trading condors is that you're looking at, at trading spreads on either side. And so you're not really, there's never really that much uh, money at risk. And it's definitely a great way to stay in the market, especially when markets tend to be range bound. Now I do want to at least point out, um, you know, you've got some upward movement um, that was happening here. And we could easily see um, this price re-enter in that, in, in that area. But one thing I like about Coca-Cola, I mean, I don't know if you took note of the string of positive earnings 
this company is steady eddy they pay a dividend so you can always uh, use that in your analysis as well you know if you if you own an option you don't get the dividend so what would normally happen is you would you would uh, it's one of the reasons to exercise an in the money call option early is to capture a dividend um, and then the stock moves down in theory by that dividend so puts can be uh, very effective as well so I'm an options guy. Hopefully by now you guys know I have an option trading podcast called The Weekly Option. That's down in the link in the description below. Um, that's going to be it for Coca-Cola. I see this as being range bound. I don't know that there's a reason for it to get out of the range. And as much as this looks big, this is a $5 range. I mean, the stock moved 19 cents today. Like, holy crap. I've been so used to looking at technology companies that are swing in five to twenty dollars in a day this is really a different kind of stock so you just have to decide what's the best kind of low volatility trades that i really want to want to play and iron condors selling iron condors tends to be one of those um selling iron butterflies can also be uh profitable um but given i mean this thing does move just enough to where that iron butterfly is going to force you to make some sort of an adjustment but anyway uh, it's good to know options uh, just because you can leverage your money, um, make more use of your capital. Um, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much. Again, hit the like button, if you will. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I'm looking at having a webinar sometime soon. So if you want to learn uh, a couple of techniques that I use beyond uh, just the moving average and the MACD and the Fibonacci or some of these visual traits. If you want to learn a little bit more about technical analysis, shoot me a, a, a leave a comment uh, really for this video and uh, maybe I'll, I'll be able to have one of those uh, again here soon. Also, if there's a company or a stock that you've been wanting me to take a look at or even a commodity, you know, I traded energy for 10 years, so I'm a commodity guy as well. Uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll make a video soon. All right. Hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Happy trading.